Hey everybody, welcome to Veda Day 3. Uh, Veda Day 3, uh, today our topic is, um, who is your greatest mentor? Um, my greatest mentor, um, uh, I have to say, is my mom. <laughs> and um, the reason why I say my mom, I know it might sound cliche to some people, is that, um, like honestly, my mom, throughout the years and as I get older, I've noticed like how she handles life and how she handled life is like, there was a lot of curveballs that were thrown at her and I'm sure it was like never easy, you know, being a mom of four kids and I'm sure we were, you know, a little extra at times. <laughs> we, um, we, we, were, um, we were probably a handful. We weren't too, too close in age. Um, there's me and then there's four years later was my first brother Richard and then um, four years after that was my second brother Jimmy and then 18 20 months after that was my brother Gregory so those are the two that are the two closest in age um, I can only imagine for um, my mom and my dad as immigrant parents and um, like they 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 made do and they did the best that they could but in particular i looked at my mom because like you know she came to this country and pretty much like you know didn't have much and um you know and she fought hard for what she got and she's still to this day she's working hard for everything she's gotten um my mom is you know um I sometimes get frustrated sometimes because she works so hard she still works two full-time jobs and um but she does what she has to do you know um she she came with nothing and now you know she has a home she's been in this country long enough where she's had several homes and like i said you know notwithstanding you know she's been married and she has my my dad and you know they work together but right my energy right now is focused on my mom and um you know she just works hard and she just wants the best for her kids and and now it includes grandkids she's got four grandkids um but um the way she handles life she's um she's just the hardest working person i know and um i'm sure a lot of people will say that about their own parents or their their you know their absolute loved ones that they are the hardest working person that they know but for me this is you know this is, this is my vlog <laughs> but yeah she just like because I remember when um because we used to work in this um in a hospital in New York together and um when she she was a nursing assistant and when she was trying to find something better to do with her life she decided you know she wanted to become a surgical tech and um you know and she just she just decided what she was going to do and this woman was working full time as a nursing assistant and going to school full time and this you know this program was you know a full time program meaning like like working hours it's like 40 hours a week so she was working full time at night and going to school during the day and still having to do clinicals and stuff like that um she's a hustler you know she um she just figures things out. So sometimes like when I get stuck and then I figure something out, I say I pull a Madeline because she be figuring things out. You know, I was actually joking with one of my coworkers the other day and I was like, you know what? Moms are kind of amazing. You guys are amazing in that, you know, they have magic pockets. Um, I, could, I distinctly, here's a story of this I thought was really funny. I'll share with you guys. Um, I just remember it's not really a story. It's probably a regular occurrence in our in my childhood, but um, before the times of direct deposit and make sure you have a bank account and stuff like that the immigrant parents Kept their money, you know as I'm sure a lot of immigrant parents did you know They had a safe in the house or they they kept their money because you know, they did everything pretty much cash so um, you know, the littles, my l younger brothers, they would at times, um, ask mom and dad, you know, for money or, um, whatever. In particular, I distinctly remember one time someone, I don't know if it was somebody at church or just one of us was asking for money 
and my <laughs> my mom says, oh, I don't have any money. And my baby brother, <laughs> he says, just look under the mattress. That's where all the money is. And it's like he gave away <laughs> the secret hiding place to where all the money was kept. And it was just so funny because I, I can clear as day can see her face like, are you kidding me right now? So now I have to figure out where else I'm gonna hide my money, you know? But um, yeah, I thought it was kind of hilarious. But um, yeah, that was just a little short reflection memory kind of situation. But it was like, it's just like little things like that. You know, like they, we went from, you know, my, we were living in a, on a, in a six story building in um in hollis and my parents was like we need to get a house you know because we got kids and this neighborhood is not so great and they bought a house you know they figured it out you know and um when they decided you know we want to leave new york we're gonna move to florida they figured it out they like got their money together and they did what they needed to do you know um they're not the well they're not wealthy they're average blue collar workers that you know, figure things out and do things that they got to do. And I just admire my mom in her tenacity and her, um, her like chutzpah <laughs> in, um, in, in making decisions and, and going with those decisions and, um, and just making things happen. So like, if I have somebody to look up to, it would be my mom, Madeline. I know she's watching this video. I love you. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that was beta day three. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching beta day three. If you haven't hit the subscription button, you go ahead and do that for me. And if you want to get notifications on when I do post a video, just hit the bell. That's like right next to the notific, uh, next to the, um, subscription button hit the thumbs up to give this video a like and leave a comment down below and um i'll see you tomorrow for beta day four all right bye